Aloha everyone. Um, so today what we're going to do is we are going to test a thermostat. This is off a 1974 uh, Volkswagen Type 2. Um, it's a 1.8 uh, dual carbureted engine. And what the thermostat does is um, the thermostat is mounted underneath the engine uh, up close to where the cylinders are. And when it heats up, there's liquid inside there. Uh, that expands and it's connected to this cable so what it does is it allows the flaps to open properly in the cooling system on the engine um, and so uh, what we're going to do today is make sure that it's operating properly um, the initial research that I did um, says that this should measure about 35 millimeters when cold like right now um, and then expand to four, in between 46 to 55 millimeters when hot. So how we're gonna how we're gonna test that is we're gonna heat it up in some water, um, and we're gonna see if we can find uh, the operating temperature. It should be stamped on here somewhere. Um, and when it gets to that temperature, uh, this thing should expand, and then we can we can measure it again and uh, make sure that it's within that um, 46 to 55 millimeters, and then we know that it's operating properly. Um, so this is, uh, this is off of 74. I took it off, cleaned it up, and I'm going to put it on a different engine. Um, and I just want to make sure it's operating properly first. Okay? So I am measuring just slightly over 30 millimeters. Um, so this one's a little bit uh, shorter than is suggested in the research that I found. Um, but as long as it's expanding, um, 10 to 15 and maybe even 20 millimeters, I think we're okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this uh, very um, thick freezer quality um, plastic bag. Um, we're going to put that in there. I'm just going to leave the wire attached because um, I'd like to leave this thing as complete as possible um, if I can. Um, easier said than done. And so I will Try and take as much of the air out as I can. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it inside this water. I've got a, um, a device down there in the bottom so it's not coming into contact with the bottom as it's boiling. And I just want to make sure it's pretty much completely submerged. And uh, then I'll put it on the stove top and, and warm it up and keep track with the thermometer. Okay, so the way I have this situated in here inside the plastic bag is um, I'm allowing the water to heat up gradually. Um, so it's not such of a shock uh, as if I were to throw that thing into boiling water, which I wouldn't suggest. Um, I've got it situated so hopefully I can measure uh, um, the, the um, thickness of it without even taking it out of the water. Um, I should be able to take the um, ruler and just put it right next to it. So water temperature is uh, about 180 degrees. Um, unfortunately, that's not cooperating there it is uh, as soon as I pull it out it goes down and I believe uh, it looks to be expanding a little bit um, I'm gonna let it go for a little while longer and uh, and take a measurement yeah. okay so um, so we've got this water uh, up and above 200 degrees about 215 degrees or so um, boiling rapidly um, so let's go ahead and turn this off and if you come on over I can see it's expanded, I just can't tell how much. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and get a measurement on it. So, it's up to about 45 uh, millimeters, which tells me it is working, um, which is good. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm assuming if it uh, stays, I'll pull it out so you can see it. If it stays in there, it would probably expand even more. So you can see how the fins are apart a little bit. As they cool, they'll gradually compress. Um, as it heats up, obviously it expands. And that piece right there can move in and out, um, changing the length of, uh, well, the length of the cable stays the same, but um, it will allow the flaps to open up in the cooling system. So I think what I have here is a working um, thermostat. So that's good because I don't think you can find these things around too easily. Um, but they, you can find them. It's just a, it's hard. Um, I don't think they they, they make okay. them. Anymore. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully that was helpful for you. 
Um, so if your thermostat is not moving when you are putting it in that boiling water, um, then it's probably defective, uh, in which case you need to replace it so that your cooling flaps can operate properly. Um, all right, mahalo for watching. Thank you.